Πάμε όμως για την ώρα να ασχοληθούμε με έναν από τους πρωταγωνιστές του χθεσινού φιλικού Ίσως και το μεγάλο πρωταγωνιστή, τον Ράφαελ Καμάτσο Έχοντας στην άλλη άκρη της τηλεφωνικής μας γραμμή τον πατέρα και ατζέντη του ποδοσφαιριστή Τον οποίο πάμε να καλησπερίσουμε για πρώτη φορά εδώ πέρα από το Λίμπερο Μίστερ Καμάτσο, good evening Good evening my friend, how are you? Very good, uh, very good uh, Last night we were waiting uh, for Aris and Sporting to announce the loan of, uh, of Rafael to Saloniki, but I think that uh, Rafael announced himself in the pitch against Olympiakos with uh, the game uh, we saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, for me, the, the, team, the team played uh, very well. I know a lot of, players, a lot of new players. And the team, and uh, to be honest, uh, it's not just Rafael. For me, I get very, very impressed because the team play very, very well. You know, they training together mm -hmm. short time, and yesterday they saw the consistency, they saw the hunger to win, and uh, they play well. All of them, they play very well. I like it the way the team play yesterday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, one minute to translate. Ε, τον, ε, του αναφέραμε ότι χθε το απόγευμα, χθε το βράδυ, περιμέναμε από τον Άρη και τη Sporting να, τον, να ανακοινώσουν τον δανεισμό του Καμάτσο στον, στον Άρη, αλλά αυτό ανακοινώθηκε μόνο του κατά κάποιο τρόπο μέσα στο γήπεδο. Ε, ο κ. Καμάτσο είπε ότι η ομάδα είναι πολύ καλή, ε, έχει πολλού νέου παίκτε, δεν είναι μόνο ο Ράφαελ. Ε, είναι, ήταν όλη η ομάδα καλή και με, έχοντας και λίγες προπονήσεις ε, στα πόδια της έπαιξε καλά και έδειξε να έχει μια δίψα για την ε, νίκη όπως και ήρθε τελικά αυτή κόντρα στον ε, Ολυμπιακό Mr. Camacho, we were waiting and Aris was waiting for a long time and you were waiting of course for a long time uh, to complete this loan from Sporting to, to Aris many days Yes, yes, it's true, it's true. Many days waiting, uh, and the uh, end of the day, okay, the, the, the things finish uh, in a good way, you know, because Rafael, he make the decision uh, to come to Addis, and the um, end of the day, uh, he's here and he's very happy. Mm -hmm. Ε, το, πέρασε, το, το αναφέραμε για το πολύ μεγάλο διάστημα και την καθυστέρηση που υπήρξε στην ολοκλήρωση του δανεισμού του Ράφαελ στον, στον Άρη. Περιμέναμε όντω πάρα πολύ καιρό, αλλά όλα πήγανε καλά και έτσι ο Ράφαελ αποφάσισε να έρθει στον, στον Άρη. What was uh, what the key for Ράφαελ to take this decision and come to, to Άρη? What convinced him, the coach, the president, because we know that he had also other offers. Yes, 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 yes. Of course, Rafael had other offers, uh, <clears throat> but to be honest with you, who, who, who really contributes to uh, to Rafael decided to come is was the the coach Burgos. You know, uh, the coach talked to him uh, face to face, uh, explained to him everything, and uh, the president as well, and uh, uh, all the directors from Aris. You understand, so. Uh, mm -hmm. Rafael feel uh, like the people uh, like him, uh, love him, want him to come here, you know. And then he decided the 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 the, the best uh, place to go, you know. So basically, it's the coach, mm -hmm. the president, uh, the, the 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 directors, even the fans, you know, the fans send to Instagram Rafael message, you know, a lot a lot of them, and uh, so uh, he said, wow. The people really want me to go there, you know. And then, uh, with the atmosphere yesterday in in in, in, um, in the game, Rafael already uh, said to me, "Dad, wow, I make the best decision to come in in the Aris family." <laughs> Yes, ok. Ε, τον ρωτήσαμε ποιο ήταν το κλειδί ε, για να πάρει ο Ράφαελ την απόφαση και να αποδεχθεί την, την πρόταση του Άρη και να έρθει στην ε, Θεσσαλονίκη. Ε, ο Ράφα είχε προσφορά όντως και από άλλες ε, ομάδες, αλλά αυτό το οποίο έπαιξε καθοριστικό ρόλο για να έρθει στον Άρη ήταν ο Μπούργος. Ε, μιλήσανε, του εξήγησε ο προπονητής τι ακριβώς ήθελε από αυτόν, το πόσο πιστεύει σε αυτόν. Το ίδιο έγινε και με τον ε, Θόδωρο Καρυπίδη, με τον οποίο μίλησε ε, και εισέπραξε και περνέθηκε την αγάπη του κόσμου. 
ε, πήρε πολλά μηνύματα και την εισπράττει και τώρα από τη στιγμή που έρχεται στη Θεσσαλονίκη και μάλιστα γύριζε και μου είπε μπαμπά, wow, τι, τι ζω και το, το απολαμβάνει πάρα πολύ ε, που βρίσκεται εδώ αυτή την ε, τη στιγμή. Ε, when you speak about sporting director, I believe you mean Mr. Mr. Karipidis. Because he has that role too with uh, the transfers. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I miss, I miss understand. You told us about the coach, the, Mr. Karipidis and the sport director. Exactly, uh, the sport director uh, and the, the Mr. Anthony, you know, the general manager. Yes, yes. To, was as well the president okay unbelievable mm -hmm. person you know uh, the president as well talked to us and the uh, mr burgos mm -hmm. plus, plus 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 the fans plus the fans you know the fans send a message of course. private message to rafael and his instagram page um Uh, many people uh, are very excited with uh, what they saw from Rafael uh, last night, but uh, he's new to us, he's something new, he's a new player. Uh, what can we expect from him in the pitch? Yeah, uh, uh, always, always uh, what the people can expect. Rafael, okay, he will do his best uh, to help the team and what the coach want him to do you know so he will do his best you know to that okay uh, for the club for the fans for the team you know always he will be ready okay to help to contribute okay for for the objective the team objective that's what uh, mm -hmm. the people can expect from him you know don't know what got tip okay ε, το ρωτήσαμε για το τι μπορεί να περιμένει ο κόσμο του Άρη από τον Καμάτσο μέσα στον αγωνιστικό χώρο. Να περιμένει αυτό το οποίο θα του ζητήσει ο προπονητή να κάνει. Αυτό το οποίο ε, θα του δοθεί ω εντολή, αυτό και θα κάνει ε, μέσα στον, ε, στον αγωνιστικό χώρο. Ε, we saw him last night uh, passing uh, very good and very quickly. Uh, we saw him uh, uh, shooting from distance. We saw him scoring. So he's a player that can score but can also create. Yes, yes, yes. He's, he's, he's uh, Rafa is a type of player, you know, he can make things happen, you know, he can make things happen, he's a player, uh, he can pass mm -hmm. as well, you know, I remember yesterday in the game, he threw one good pass to the number seven, you know, he, you know, put him... Uh, yes, man. Um, uh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and, uh, I saw him, yeah, he, he, has, he has this quality, you know, go to 1v1, uh, Link players, you know, he can play, he can receive in the middle, like, like number false nine. He can play as a wing, you know, he, he has the has, um, ability to do that, you know. And uh, one thing surprised me a lot was when I when I spoke uh, in the phone with the coach, Burgos. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm very surprised because when the coach talked to me regarding Rafael, He know everything of his qualities, you know. He know he can play a wing, he can play like number 10 and on the back of striker, he can play even 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 striker sometimes, you know. So basically mm -hmm. he can help the team and the coach know all his qualities, you know. And uh, it's very important when the coach know all your qualities and then uh, it's very good for the player as well because the coach will help the player to maximize Okay, to the team, everything you can do, you can offer, you know, and 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 uh, mm -hmm. is a, is a, is a very good and important as well. Ρωτήσαμε τον κύριο Καμάτσο για το. Ε, βασικά του αναφέραμε κάποια έτσι από τα highlights του, του Ράφελ χθε κοντά στον Ολυμπιακό. Ότι μπορεί να πασάρει καλά, μπορεί να πηλήσει, μπορεί να σκοράρει. Ε, μπορεί να δημιουργήσει γενικά να σκοράρει, μπορεί να κάνει πράγματα να συμβούν, όπω είπε, μέσα στον αγωνιστικό χώρο. Η πάσα στο Μαντσίνη είναι ένα τέτοιο παράδειγμα. Είναι καλό στο να είναι εναντίον ενό, στο να δημιουργεί, μπορεί να παίξει ω εννιάρη, μπορεί να παίξει ω πλάγιο. Μου έκανε εντύπωση, είπε ότι όταν μίλησα με τον κύριο Μπούργο, ήξερε τα πάντα για τον ε, Ράφαελ. Ακόμα και ότι έχει την ικανότητα υπό συνθήκε να αγωνιστεί και ω ε, φόρ. Είναι σημαντικό για ένα προπονητή να γνωρίζει ακριβώ το προφίλ ενό ποδοσφαιριστή, προκειμένου να πάρει όσα περισσότερα μπορεί ε, από αυτόν. Μίστερ Καμάτσο, we don't uh, have uh, often the opportunity to speak uh, 
with a player or, or with the agent of a player that has worked with uh, Jurgen Klopp. Um, mm-hmm. I yeah. believe it was a, a, a big experience for, uh, for your son. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was, was a very big experience. Uh, basically, uh, <coughs> Jurgen Klopp arrived in Liverpool. Um, maybe the people don't know, Rafael uh, was in England uh, with uh, 11 years old. Uh, his formation is from sporting from six years old till 11 and then 11 I was in England in England because I must to go there and work over there uh, mm-hmm. and uh, Rafael when he's there play I put him playing school sporting don't want me to bring him to England because sporting want to put him in academy but I say no I I will miss my son blah 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 and I put him in school over there then in tournament in school, uh, Rafael did very well, and the, the, all the big, big teams in England called me to him go there because we live in Manchester. Okay, I choose Manchester City, and he passed to Manchester City yes. as well. Then, then when I changed to Liverpool, okay, Manchester City want to sign a professional deal with Rafael with the 15 years old, uh, 2015. What age? But, what age? Uh, I decide to 15. 15, 15. Yes. Yeah, yes. 15. But I decided to go to Liverpool because my job changed to Liverpool, <laughs> you know. And Manchester mm-hmm. City want to put him in academy because I'm very, I'm the type of father um, I love to be together with my family. Even now in Saloniki, we, Rafael's mother will come, their sisters. We are two family people. And then I decided to bring him to Liverpool with me. Okay, Manchester City go pissed off and Liverpool called me. Oh, you know, Rafael Kamas is here. Don't want to sign with the City. We want him. I say, okay, fantastic. So I put him there and he training. The same, the same after, after three, four months, Jurgen Klopp arrived in the club. Rafael was 15 years old. After, after one training, the Jurgen Klopp will go to the academy and saw him training. And the Jurgen Klopp asked the director, who is this boy? And the, the director said, yeah, it's Rafael Camacho, Portuguese boy, blah, blah, blah. And the Jurgen Klopp said, wow, he has a massive quality. I want him to come training with me twice a day with the 15 years old, twice a day. And with the 15 years old, Klopp bring him to the team and the training twice a day. Then when he makes 16, Two weeks, uh, two two weeks per month, and then with the seventeen, he put him in the team, you know, uh, yes. and push him to the first team, and then bring him to the Champions League and the bench, and then till he go out for Sporting, you know. Yes. So uh, it's a okay, amazing, amazing experience. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What uh, what amazing experience? And uh, mm-hmm. what amazing experience? And I make. To be honest with you, I make big mistake, I think, because <laughs> Liverpool offered seven years deal for Rafael, Jürgen Klopp want him to stay, but I make the mistake to bring him to Portugal because uh, I was to go to Portugal as well uh, with, the, with the, my job, and, and then that's why Rafael go to, to Portugal. He's not uh, because yeah. Liverpool don't, yeah, sporting. He's not because Liverpool don't want him, no. Liverpool won team, Jurgen okay. Klopp won team, offer seven years deal, but uh, I make the mistake to bring him to Portugal. <laughs> Ε, τον ρωτήσαμε για την εμπειρία που είχε ο Ράφαελ στο διάστημα που ήταν στη Λίβερπουλ και μας είπε αρκετά, ήταν μεγάλη εμπειρία ε, όταν ο Ράφαελ αρχικά είπε ότι ζούσε στην Αγγλία από τα 11 του λόγω και της δικής μου δουλειάς ε, η Sporting τον ήθελε στι Ακαδημίες της Πορτογαλία αλλά εγώ τον, τον είχα σε σχολείο στην, στην Αγγλία σε ένα τουρνά τα πήγε πάρα πολύ καλά και με κάλεσαν πολλές από τις μεγάλες ομάδες επειδή η δουλειά μου ήταν στο Manchester ο Ράφαελ πήγε τελικά στι Ακαδημίες της ε, Manchester City εγώ συνέχεια έπρεπε να πάω στη Λίβερπουλ η City ήθελε να τον κρατήσει ε, τσαντίστηκαν είπε λίγο κιόλας που τον, ε, που τον πήγα από εκεί και πήγαμε στο Λίβερπουλ αλλά θέλω να έχω τα παιδιά μου κοντά ως, ε, ως πατέρας και όταν πήγαμε στο Λίβερπουλ μα κάλεσε ε, η ομάδα εκεί λίγους μήνες αργότερα ήρθε και ο Γιούργεν Κλόπ στην ομάδα πήγε σε μια-δυο προπονές των Ακαδημιών είδε τον, τον Ράφαελ 
Μίλησε με τον τεχνικό διευθυντή τη ομάδα, τον, τον ρώτησε περισσότερα στοιχεία να μάθει και τον ζήτησε να συμμετέχει σταδιακά σε κάποιε προπονήσει των, των μεγάλων. Στα 17, μάλιστα, τον έβαλε και στην πρώτη ομάδα και σε παιχνίδια του Champions League τον είχε στον πάγκο και τον χρησιμοποίησε. Ήταν μια πολύ μεγάλη εμπειρία ε, για τον ε, Ράφελ. Έκανα λάθο που τον πήρα από εκεί και γυρίσαμε στην Πορτογαλία λόγω τη δική μου δουλειά. Διότι η Λίβερπουλ πρότεινε επταετέ συμβόλαιο στον, ε, καμα, στον Ράφαελ στα 17 του χρόνια. Ε, αλλά δεν το δεχθήκαμε ε, και ήταν, και ήταν λάθο ε, για μένα. Last question, Mr. Καμάτσο. Ε, how is it being the, the, father, the father and the agent? Of the player, <laughs> does this to collide because we don't see it very often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, basically, my experience come from 17 years ago. You know, because I was a professional as well, and uh, I can separate the things. You understand? I can be in my house, in our house. I am the father. And outside to the father, to the house, I'm the agent of Rafael. So I can look after the business side and uh, in home, I'm the father. But even when I'm the father, always I give to Rafael the honest opinion. You know, I'm the first guy to criticize him, okay, in the good moments, in the bad moments, and uh, explain to him all, all the process, etc., etc. It's very easy. To be the father and the agent because I can't separate, and on the same time, Rafael helped me a lot. He's a easy boy to dealing. He's a lovely boy. He don't talk too much, huh? He don't talk too much. It's important the yes. friends uh, <laughs> understand that. Is the the quiet boy, you know? He said it. If you want to him to 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 laugh and talk too much, you must to push to, to him. You know, he's a lovely boy. He don't talk too much. Look at the people like, huh? You know, like uh, <laughs> very humble. He's very humble. Do you think that boy. one day he, don't he, he, he might fire you? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, but <laughs> but yes, yes, it's, it's easy to deal. And if the boy listen, listen too much, mm -hmm. you know the process. You know, he take my advisors. You know, and and uh, uh, he understand. Sometimes I go pissed off with him because he understand. I want his best. You know, and then uh, it's a, it's a, it's a very easy to be the father and the agent, and I can separate this. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, we would like to thank you very much uh, for this uh, interview. Uh, from what you, we hear, you have a lovely family and a united family, and we hope you keep it that way, and that Rafael will give his best uh, uh, for Aris. Uh, a question from, from a fan of the team, uh, because um, there are some rumors about the, the option for Aris to buy the player next summer. Uh, can we say something official? Can we speak about the numbers or, uh, or not? Yeah, I don't have, uh, to be honest with you, is, uh, I don't have a permission to talk about the numbers, you know? Okay. But okay. what I can say, I can say, what I can say to the fans, yeah, it's true. I have, uh, I have, I have the opportunity, okay, in the future to, to stay with Raphael. You understand? To stay with Raphael and, uh, and, uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, I know I'm a suspect to say something, uh, but uh, if he is doing the future, Will be a very good choice, you know, because he's young, you know, with uh, uh, with the potential, you know, and uh, he love he start to love the city and uh, the club, the people, and it can be a very good marriage, you know. So let's see mm -hmm. what the of the future will offer to us. But yes, yes, they have we, a close mm -hmm. to Irish stay with the player. End of the season. Okay, okay, it's it's up to Iris. Next yeah, summer. it's actually, it's actually, yeah. Yeah, next summer, yeah. Thank you very much, yeah, Mr. Yeah. Camacho, and uh, we hope you all the best for you and your family. Thank you, for, thank you very much for your time, for the opportunity, and all the best uh, for you guys, for all fans, for Maris, for the director, from the club, you know, and we are here to support. <laughs> Now, my okay, family is Maris fans yes. as well. We, we, we are very happy to hear that. <laughs> thank you, thank you very thank you much. Very much. Thank you very much. All the thank best. you very much, Mr. Camacho. Bye bye. All the best. Bon.
Να μεταφράσω και τα τελευταία που είπε, γιατί ξεφύγαμε και λίγο για να πάμε και στο διάλειμμα. Αρκετά ε, ενδιαφέροντα. Οι δύο τελευταίε ερωτήσει ήταν η πρώτη τελευταία για το πώ είναι η σχέση του με τον με το γιο του. Γιατί είναι πατέρα γιο και είναι και ατζέντη ποδοσφαιριστή. Ε, έχω μια εμπειρία πολλών χρόνων ε, πάνω σε αυτό το κομμάτι. Ήμουν και εγώ ποδοσφαιριστή. Στο σπίτι μου ο πατέρα του Ράφαελ, έξω το σπίτι μου ατζέντη του. Ακόμα και ω πατέρα, βέβαια, του λέω τη γνώμη μου, του κάνω κριτική. Για μένα είναι εύκολο, ξέρω να τα διαχωρίζω. Είναι και ένα ήσυχο παιδί ο Ράφαελ, δεν μιλάει πολύ. Ε, Κάποιε φορέ μαλώνουμε, λέει, βέβαια, αλλά είναι για το, το κάνω γιατί ε, θέλω το καλό του και το αναγνωρίζει και ο ίδιο. Και στο τέλο, προσπαθήσαμε λίγο να αποσπάσουμε και κάποια πληροφορία παραπάνω, ε, παραπάνω για την ρήτρα που έχει μπει για τον ψιό αγορά του Άρη. Ε, δεν μπορούμε να πούμε αριθμό ρήπα αυτή τη στιγμή. Ο Άρη όμω έχει την ευκαιρία να κρατήσει τον παίχτη το επόμενο καλοκαίρι. Θα είναι μια καλή επιλογή, ένα καλό γάμο όπω το χαρακτήρισε, γιατί και ο Ράφελ ήδη έχει αρχίσει να αγαπάει την, ε, την πόλη, είναι στο χέρι του Άρη να κρατήσει το Ράφελ. Λοιπόν. Αυτά από τον πατέρα και μάνατζερ του Ράφαλ Καμπάτσου.